Immediate crisis averted, Irvin shared his tale of woe. He spoke of a partner, a man named Bill Payne, who was somewhere in the canyon behind him in the lower granite gorge. Fatigue had claimed Payne, and Irvin doubted his friend had managed to follow him out of the wilderness. The tale of how Irvin and Payne found themselves in such a dire predicament is a saga of ill-conceived plans and poor decision-making that would make even Custer's last stand seem like a stroke of genius. You see, both men were employees of the Anderson Brothers Boarding and Supply Company, catering to the men working tirelessly on the Boulder Dam project. The sweltering heat, often reaching 120 degrees, made their working conditions unbearable, earning the project the nickname Hellhole. One day, Payne proposes a plan to his friend Irvin. Why not leave this infernal place and head to Denver, Colorado? He knew of a dude ranch there, run by some acquaintances, where they could find work. Not waiting for payday, they arranged for their final checks to be mailed to Denver and hit the road in Irvin's stripped-down Model T. Irvin, a physically fit former Coast Guard and a waiter by trade, and Payne, a man unfamiliar with the rigors of physical labor, made for an unlikely duo. Their plan fell apart when they reached Denver, unable to locate the people who were supposed to employ them. Worse still, their final paychecks never arrived. With no other option, they headed south, only for their car to break down in Cubero, New Mexico. Stranded and penniless, they abandoned the Model T and their belongings, hoping to retrieve them later, and hopped a freight train with the intention of returning to their old jobs in Boulder City, Nevada. But their journey was fraught with more obstacles. Railroad guards booted them off the train again and again. Frustrated and defeated, they turned to hitchhiking. By the time they reached Peach Springs, they were famished, having gone two days without food. Desperate and out of options, they turned to their roadmap for inspiration. The Colorado River was a mere 23 miles north. To Irvin, the river distance seemed like a beacon of hope in their time of desperation. The story of Irvin and Payne serves as a stark reminder of the consequences of poor planning and hasty decision-making. Their 